I have some bad news. Well, I have bad news about the RV. Holy day, I break these chains. I'm bound for the life of the simple things. Oh man, I just moved the van here from over at the Mar Menards across the lot and uh, over the street and then into here. Uh, it's like already in the 40s you know low 40s might even be starting to break 40 so it's pretty cold right now and uh i'm sweating <laughs> that van's a lot heavier than i was expecting when i started pushing it uh so i've been getting along i haven't had a problem just yet uh and i'm gonna be checking out a rv probably on friday pretty stoked with that I have the money to be able to afford that one so if it's in decent shape it should be solid uh, still gonna have to walk to work in the morning it's 11 o'clock a little after 11 right now I waited until the parking lot got pretty clear before I tried doing that and the Menards was closed um, but I gotta be up at 4 walk over to the shuttle and take that shuttle bus out to work and do the same thing in reverse back home I got a couple of uh, days still here to do it like three or four or something and then uh, I'll be able to check out that RV and i am got my fingers crossed guys it's starting to get kind of cold here it's supposed to get in the uh, low 30s later on in this week I'm hoping that RV I'm supposed to work out work for me on uh, Friday but anyways it's 4 30 in the morning it's time for me to start walking over to the shuttle for work so that's what I'm about to do right now the only no parking signs that you see in here or only tow away signs you see right here are for tractor trailers and so this guy seems to be gotten away with it just fine and I've seen several others have hopefully the van does okay there I had been walking off this way and uh, that had been adding like three tenths of a mile because that's the quickest way driving but this way actually is faster walking so that's what we're doing this morning. <laughs> a little chilly. I love this flannel though. It does a pretty good job keeping me warm. My face is frozen though. <laughs> Ooh. Man, I hope it doesn't rain today. Oh well. I just had the alarm go off. It's 5 a.m. now. And uh, we're getting pretty close to uh, the spot here to get the shuttle. I probably got another 10 minutes of walking, so it's around half an hour. It's 1.8 miles. It was two miles when I first started, but then I found the little <laughs> Way to, way to go that a car doesn't usually go so that I could shorten it up one day when I was walking back and um, I should be there about 10-15 minutes before the actual shuttle gets there which you know means I could probably leave a little bit later from the van and everything maybe even get up a little bit later than four o'clock like I have been but I just don't want to be late and miss work I, it's nothing I can do to get there you know late if I was running late I'd have to miss the whole day all right so here I am I'm at my spot so right here is where the shuttle will come and pick me up I even have my own little rock I sit on while I'm waiting <laughs> See the little rock here that's where i sit while i wait for the shuttle bus it's supposed to be here at like 5 25. so i'm 16 minutes early and i'm just gonna sit here and watch some youtube like all of you guys do when you're watching my videos and here we go the shuttle's a little late though it's 5 30 already but here it is I'll talk to you guys later during work today. All right, guys, so I'm here at work now. Talk to you later. Uh, 
my 12 hours is done and I'm a greasy mess. I gotta go catch the shuttle now to head back to my van. <laughs> Cruising the shuttle back to Florence. It's kind of a bummer going, you know, pretty much dark to dark <laughs> every day. But hey, I got this grind to do. It was a bummer that today, today the shuttle was actually late because of some traffic issues or something. So I'm not even going to get back until after 7. So that's 4 a.m. to probably 7.30 p.m. for my work day and travel time. That was a good ride. It's not terrible. It's only 7 o'clock now instead of 7.30. So I should be back to the van by 7.30. So that's, that's nice, a little bit faster than I thought. Now I'm walking back. So I got about 1.8 miles to go. I'll check in with you when I get back to the van. Let's cross our fingers. I've had that van in that park and ride for a while. So, well, the park ride, the Men Menards, the Planet Fitness, I've been moving it back and forth at like four in the morning. So, uh, <laughs> well, last night I did it at a, after 11. I didn't do it at four in the morning last night. So I kind of changed it up. Uh, what a day. All right, we're back at the van. I've been checking to make sure there wasn't any uh, markings on tires or something, you know, noting that I've been here for a while. <laughs> and uh, no notes on the windshield, so still looks like we're doing good, man. All right, I'm gonna go and take a shower. I'm dirty and then I need to actually probably edit a little video and crash. That's the day I just got done in the shower, feeling pretty good, all cleaned up, about ready to go to sleep. The temperature's not bad right now. I hope it doesn't get too much cooler. It'd be perfect for sleeping actually right now, uh, you know, get covered up with the sleeping bag and everything. I kind of like it a little cooler to go to sleep. <sighs> another day just like it tomorrow, be Groundhog's Day, another 12 hour shift back at the same spot same process good morning guys uh i left my steel toes outside here on the back of the van so they're a little damp <laughs> whoops 4 10 in the morning 4 20 in the morning time to get headed out again uh off to work I feel like I might be getting a cold though. I don't like that. Um, Friday's gonna be pretty cold, so hopefully that this RV that I'm gonna look at turns out. All right, time to hop the shuttle back home. <laughs> well guys, got dropped off from the shuttle and uh, <laughs> walking back to the van now. Today was a long day. Uh, I was really ready to go. I would say like, even before I was done with the eight, first eight hours, uh, the temperature is still not too bad right now. Can't wait to lay down though. I didn't get any video edited last night. I fell asleep. Oh, I'll, I'll make sure I do today. So. I can give you guys an update. It's been a long time since I updated you guys. I need to update on everything that's been going on. Well, I think it stopped. I was gonna show you that there's this intermittent drip, but uh, it stopped on me. Well, when it rains, it pours. Ah, uh, <laughs> it's literally raining. There it goes. Yep, drip, drip. You can hear it there. Sounds like it's just going down into the little footstep down here though. Cause it sounds like it's hitting plastic. So it should be okay. Maybe you can even see it. I don't know. Well, I have bad news about the RV. It didn't 
end up making it here. Uh, it's kind of got a messed up story actually. Uh, so I asked this guy that I know about maybe going and checking out this RV that was down in Jacksonville for me, you know, you know, let me know how it ran and stuff. I was willing to even offer something, you know, cause I can't get there and, and everything. And it was a good buy and stuff like that. And uh, they went ahead and offered to go ahead and sell me their RV. And we talked about it. They were gonna drive it down to me. Then they ended up asking me about sending them money to bring it to me, which I was, you know, okay. Uh, I understood that, that's cool. And so I sent them some money, sent them 300 bucks for the gas to get from Florida to here. I'm in Kentucky, by the way. And uh, then I thought they were had left and headed on their way and everything. And then later on, I get a message about the RV having some transmission issues and they were supposed to have been all squared away. And he was supposed to be picking up the RV to continue the journey to me from what I understood. And then the story kind of changed and it turned out they weren't as far along on the trip as they had told me and that they had gone back into Jacksonville with the RV is what I was told from where they said that they'd had the problem at and how far they'd gotten on their journey from us discussing it. And then uh, somehow it went from there to not wanting to sell it anymore. I offered to come down and get it. Well, I, I said I would still pay him the same amount of money if uh, he could still bring it out to me. And he said he couldn't do that. And then uh, later I said that I would go there and pick it up. You know, I was trying tried to negotiate a little bit lower on price so that I could afford to drive it across and have a little bit of money in case something broke down, you know and uh, on the way out and well they told me that they they couldn't they didn't want to sell it for that well they couldn't sell it for that and then I asked well do you still want to sell it because I was trying to see if there was still a price that we could work something out on it because it was about to get real cold here and plus I, I need a home and I need wheels uh, with the van. It won't, doesn't run anymore, you know, and it's not worth fixing. You know, it's got just too many things wrong with it. Plus over 200,000 miles, the original transmission, not that I was having problems with it, just it's the original transmission. It's never been really rebuilt and there's 200,000 miles on it. So that could go on me. So I, I told him that I'd come and get it, you know, and I asked him, I asked him, you know, if he still wanted to sell it, period. And then he told me, no, he didn't want to sell it at all. And I kind of got up my hopes all up that I would have a new home and thought it was coming and everything. And was even willing to pay more than we discussed on it and go get it. After the repair and everything, I understand him being out the money, but it ended up being a no-go. And so, now I am back to the drawing board. The RV that was there in Jacksonville that I was interested in sold. Another one that I was interested in sold already in the time that he was supposed to be bringing his out to me. And there's just nothing but junk, you know, really out there in the price range I have that I'm seeing right now. It's kind of a conundrum. Get out there, connect with people, Live your big story and make sure you do something every single day to reduce world suck. Peace, guys.